Generally, these kind of movies are kind of like boring and dry. But for some reason, I really enjoyed this one, and that is he just not that into you. I don't know why, like the mix of characters and cast in this movie, but for some reason it gelled with me. And today, I'm gonna do a movie review on it now. What's up world, welcome to another episode of Movie Breakdowns, I'm your host Ali Zaka. And what is Movie Breakdowns? It's a movie review series where you look at new and old movies. Sometimes I have a guest on, sometimes I don't. And we also grade them. And today, before I actually jump into that, I just say, if there's a movie you want me to review, let me know. Please put it in the comment section below, and I'll get to it as best I can, or as soon as possible, whichever one folks your vote. So, he's just not that into you. When I first saw this movie, I saw it thinking, high school? I think high school? I saw it and I was like, oh, I'm not really a fan of like romance movies, but uh, why not? I'll sit down and watch this. And I was like, oh, okay, it's all right. I get this movie. Like, I was just not getting into dating and I was like, oh, okay. All right, I think this movie's a little over dramatic, but okay, whatever, it's cool, whatever. I'm good with it. I'm rolling with the punches here. And then, I guess 2018, I'm watching it now again, and I'm like, that still reminds me of a, of a very, very early 2000s movie. It seems like that, and kind of find out this movie came out in 2009. It's based off a book about dating and about, like, a bunch of di different people, different characters, like, dating lives, where you got the husband and wife who are together, but not really, like, not knowing that they're kind of falling apart. You got the husband, you got the boyfriend and girlfriend who's been dating for seven plus years and they're trying to figure out if they want to get married or not then you got this single person who's trying to find a good boyfriend and then you have the girl that's like doesn't like commitment and the guy who's like trying to get out the friend zone it sounds like a bunch of like modern dating stuff in one movie that i really enjoy it's much better than those movies like valentine day or new year's day or wherever new year's eve i think is the other one like it's much better than those movies i haven't seen eat pray love Maybe that's it. I'm not sure. But there's a bunch of other movies like this. But this right here is one that st stuck out the most to me that I thoroughly enjoyed. Because it has so many different aspects of the dating life and dating world. And people like cheating on one another. And the people trying to get a divorce. And people fighting. And just it's like it's a bunch of like real life stuff like in a movie. Because the book had the real life stuff in it. I probably need to go read this book. Probably a really good book. But as far as the movie goes, the cast, I was okay with the cast. I liked the cast. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed everybody in the movie because all the people I was familiar with. All the thing like, uh, what's the thing? I don't, I don't think anybody like in the movie I was like felt out of place. Ben Affleck's in this movie, but like he's I was completely a side character in this movie. Like he's gone for a good. 30 minutes to an hour of this movie, which I want to let you know, this movie is, if you decide to sit down and watch it, is a two hour and nine minute movie. And like, I felt like Ben Affleck was probably only in 45 minutes of this movie. Bradley Cooper is like one of the main people in this movie. Scar Johansson, uh, who else? Scar Johansson, Bradley Cooper, Jennifer Goodwin, uh, Jennifer Aniston, I don't know, she's kind of there. Jennifer Connelly has a better role than Jennifer Aniston. And Drew Barrymore is in this movie, but she's like there for a moment. A moment. A moment. So, it depends on who you really want to watch this movie. Who you like, if you're a fan of certain actors and actresses, you probably would enjoy this movie. I like to say myself, I enjoy this movie, but it does have some low spots in this movie. It doesn't really keep your attention at certain points. And in a time where it does keep your attention, and you're like, okay, I feel for this character. I can see where this character is coming from. I understand where she's coming from. I understand where he's coming from. Like, all this makes sense. Watching the movie again made me really not like Bradley Cooper's character, which I guess, let me dive get into the character's name. So, Bradley Cooper's character's name is Ben, and he's married to Jennifer Connelly's character, Janie. They're married. They've been married for years. And Cooper's now like, Ben's kind of like, he's not really want to be in 
in his relationship with his wife anymore. Like, he's grown apart from her, and they haven't done anything in a while, and they're just, like, falling apart. And he doesn't want to get divorced. He doesn't want to break it off. So he's trying to find a way to get out of it. So what he does, he tries to cheat with Scarlett Johansson's character, who is Anna, who just a girl who bounces around from guy to guy because she doesn't really know what she wants. And she meets Ben and thinks Ben's going to leave his wife for her. Like, Ben tells her that he's in a, he's married, but he's thinking about, like, leaving, and he doesn't do it. Which, like, it's kind of messed up that Ben does this, and when he does get caught cheating, he still is, like, trying to get out. He thought this was his out, and it wasn't, because Jennifer, char Jennifer Connelly's character, Jenny, or Jenny, Janie, sorry, Janie wanted to keep the marriage together. She's like, it happens, you no know, couples go through cheating, but they work stuff out. There's an issue here, let's fix it. While Ben's like, hey man, I ain't trying to fix jack squat. So, they're that, they're that relationship, and it does, it does end badly for Ben. And you feel bad for Jennifer character because like, man, she just wanted to keep her marriage together and keep everybody together, but it's not happening. Also, another guy that's in this movie, it's Justin Long, who plays Alex, and he's one of the main characters that helps out another character who was played by uh, Jennifer Goodwin named Gigi. So Alex is helping Gigi like point out bad dudes, like picking the dudes out, like he's a bad guy, don't date him, don't talk to him. He's only want you only want to talk to you for one thing. And kind of kind of find out that Gigi falls for Alex, and Alex is slowly falling for Gigi because he doesn't know it, but he's really attracted to her. But and so, like, that's one of those, like, friendship thing that becomes a thing at the end of the movie. I don't know. I really enjoyed the storylines in this movie. Me being a very big storyline guy, I really enjoyed it. Um, comedy? There's not really much comedy in this movie. It's not really a comedy movie at all. It's really just a sit-down romance movie. That's all it is. That's pretty much what I can say about it. See here. What characters that really stood out to me? Alex that stood out to me like Justin Long's character, uh, Jennifer Goodwin's character, like those characters stood out to me a lot. Uh, Jennifer Connelly character stood out to me. Anything and I feel like Ben Affleck, they would just they would be name grabs. They wasn't really like much of the story. Um, they just two people who been dating for years that kind of get a, get into a fight because. Um, Gigi brought up something to Jennifer Aniston's character that causes her to pretty much go off on uh, Affleck's character and they just kind of take a break throughout my journey of the movie and then all of a sudden Aniston's dad goes through like a, has a heart attack or a stroke one or two and Ben Affleck's character is there to help out like out of nowhere they ended up getting married like he proposed to her because he realized being away from her for so long made him that like if she want to get married, let's make this happen. Okay, is this a Friday night movie? I'll say so, yeah. This movie is not a bad movie. Like, you can sit down and watch and enjoy this movie. Y'all just want a movie night, get a bunch of friends together. You want to sit down and watch with your significant other. Like, this is a good romance movie to watch for everybody. Grading time. I'm going to grade, he just not that into you, a solid C. It's a C. Like, I enjoyed the movie, but at the same time, it's not a movie that you're going to remember for years to come. It's not a movie that stands out. It's just an average movie that you watch and you're like, okay, everything flows together. It doesn't really, like, it has some low parts, but you don't really lose, like, much of it. Like, you don't lose, like, it doesn't really, like, drop you off. Like, you don't forget about what's going on in the movie. You stay with it. You watch it. You enjoy the storylines of the characters, and you understand, like, where people are coming from. I thoroughly enjoyed it. It's a solid C movie. What do you guys think if you've seen this movie? If you haven't, watch it and, and like, let me know. Like, hey, I don't want to go saw um, He's Just Not That Into You. I thought it was a solid movie. Or he's like, this movie's the worst thing on earth. Let me know. I'm curious. Other than that, thank you guys for watching this episode of Movie Breakdowns. See you next time. And keep being awesome. Thank you guys for watching this episode. I really appreciate it. Please like comment in the comment section below and please subscribe for more episodes of grind for success movie breakdowns or whatever it is you're watching on my channel i have different stuff from interviews to other movie reviews to wrestling reviews if you're a wrestling fan please please subscribe if you want to see all that and see what's going on 
Also, you can follow me on Snapchat here. Follow me on Instagram there to see what I'm doing in my personal life as well as my business and Ninja Warrior. And lastly, you can watch the last episode of Grind Tour Success here. You can watch the last episode of Movie Breakdowns there. Thank you guys once again. I really appreciate it. See you next time. Keep being awesome.